Right? So how do we do that? How do we how do we provide some of those services that uh, that we do, and how do we get such great numbers? And we're proud of it. It's not something that we've always had. I, uh, I've been with the company a long time, as I mentioned. I've been uh, here for over 21 years now, and you know our service levels have not always been at that point. They've not we've not always achieved those great numbers. Um, it's taken time, and it's taken a lot of focus and, and effort on our part. The, Three different things that I really want to talk about. First, I'm going to talk about some industry-leading technology. McKesson, over the last five to ten years, we've not been afraid to go out and improve our quality by making sure that we have the technology that's required to get the numbers or the results that we want. Um, we use SAP uh, within, our, within our distribution network. And then what, the second one that you see up here, it's called Acumax right here, Acumax radio frequency devices. And we'll talk about that and how that's going away, actually. Acumax is an RF uh, barcode device that uh, McKesson developed in-house back in 1995. Early on in 1995, 96, 97, we won several awards for, for that product. Uh, and again, we were the first distribution uh, network to go out and actually begin using that in the, in the wholesale industry and especially within the healthcare industry. And actually some of our competitors uh, really are not even using that in today's world. Um, and, and those that are have only been doing it recently. But we started in 1995 and again developed in-house and we've continued to modify that and make improvements on that. And, and, and Devin, and basically it's, it's using the, the, the guns and so forth down here with the, all the RF units. And, and that's helped us achieve some of those results. Acumax is currently being replaced. We've identified over the last year or so that there are other opportunities that we cannot take advantage of, including transportation, buying and some of those other things that within our own structure of Acumax, we're not meeting the, the efficiencies that, that are available out there to us. So in this situation, we are now replacing all of that with Manhattan pro provided products. That's where we're going into your WM system. What we refer to as Simon. We had a naming contest and it was referred to and the, the, the winner actually got a little prize and, and some things, but we refer to the Manhattan WM system as Simon. So if we slip and say Simon, uh, please note that that's basically Manhattan's WM system. So we are replacing that with the, with the WM system uh, and then taking it to the next level. You, you, you heard that we've already implemented your TMS system. Uh, you know, we've had the buying side in there for a while. We refer to it as SCORE, but Sam, help me out. It's, it's something else within, you guys, I know, you guys bought something. I, I don't know what y'all call it here, but it's, it's a Manhattan system. What, what is it so called? EFI. EFI. Yeah. So we've been using that for a number of years, but again, some of the things that we use. But right now we're in the process of replacing Acumax, and that'll be a rollout over the next 18 months, beginning uh, in April with our Denver distribution center being the guinea pig and going first. So Acumax is being replaced, but again, it's been a terrific tool for us. Um, I mentioned electronic ordering. A-frames, material handling equipment, we'll, we'll show you a lot of pictures here in just a few minutes about what we've done to try and improve a lot of the quality and safety of our products and, and how we and how that's helped us. I'm going to jump over to the dedicated associates. Brian mentioned that we have 32,000 plus employees within the network. There are 5,500 plus employees in the operation side. Um, what a great group of team. It's a great group of individuals, great team, and there is a lot of tenure within those 5,500. Coming out of the Salt Lake City Distribution Center, our average tenure in the warehouse is nine plus years. So people have been around for quite a while. Uh, they've learned the systems, they understand it, and again, they focus uh, with, you know, on that quality of product. The same within McKesson is it's not a it's not a delivery; it's a patient. It's on a lot of our uh, internal uh, signs, if you will, within the distribution center. Again, it's not a delivery; it's a patient. That's the important thing for us, and again, it's, it's a focus. Um, there's a reward for them uh, based on their productivity and quality using the Manhattan LM system, uh, which we've been using for a number of years. Uh, there is, there's financial reward for each of the associates if they have meet certain productivity goals and quality goals, and they have to tie together. Um, you can have some of the highest productivity, but if your quality is not there, you're not going to make that additional fund. Uh, in order to get paid for that. So that, that also helps. The, the one in the middle there that I skipped over, our operational excellence, I really want to talk a little bit about that. Um, one of the things that we've been doing now for about 10 or 12 years with uh, Six Sigma, I'm not sure if all of you are familiar with the Six Sigma methodology, 
but Six Sigma is basically going out and identifying defects and improving upon the processes to improve your, your quality. That's really what it is. And, and McKesson has been a Six Sigma uh, supporter for, like I said, 10 to 12 years. I know Brian started actually with McKesson in Six Sigma and has a strong background. Greg spent some time in Six Sigma as well. Um, every distribution center has a, a Six Sigma black belt assigned to them. Not all DCs have a black belt in-house. Most do, some of the smaller ones do not, but some of the large distribution centers actually have two or three black belts within the distribution center to help on a daily basis to improve processes and improve our quality. So again, we, we really focus on that. Engineered standards, uh, again, we've been using engineered standards now for a number of years. Again, kind of tied back into that reward system for our associates. And finally, uh, our measurement system, what we refer to as BOSS. Uh, it's our business operating system, and BOSS is our scorecard. And I want to talk just for a few minutes about BOSS. 